there are perks in this job. It's the ability to meet your heroes, and in my case, the ability to work with your heroes. And when I came to take over the company and I was setting up my first group of actors, um, Robert's name came immediately into, in, into my mind. When Adrian asked for me first to play King Lear, I said, I think there have been too many King Lears recently. There have been about five of them, one after another. And I said, I think people may have got fed up with the play King Lear. So why don't we think of something else? So I went off to Canada, and he stayed in Stratford. And he suddenly called me up in Canada and said, I don't care if there are a thousand King Lears. I want to do it, and I want to do it with you. Robert Stevens has both the extraordinary technical gifts required to pull off perhaps the greatest and most difficult part in dramatic literature, King Lear. He also has the imaginative um, resources to invest the part with the sort of flights of fancy and brilliant interpretations that you need. I can't think of another part like it because he begins as a, an extremely unpleasant, overbearing, boorish man who will listen to nobody because you, you, you never see the Minister of Education or the Minister of Health or any advisors. It was at a time when the king, the king's word was it. And you are, if you didn't agree with it, then get out. Um, he's totally selfish and um, expects everything to go in his way. He suddenly realizes that that is not happening when he gives his kingdom away. Those wicked creatures yet to seem well graced when others are more wicked. I'll go with thee. Thy fifty yet to double her five and twenty, and thou art twice her love. Hear me, my lord. What need you five and twenty, ten or five to follow in a house where twice so many have a command to tend you? What need one? A reason not the need. Our basest beggars are in the poorest things superfluous. Allow not nature more than nature needs man's life's as cheap as beasts. Ah, the lady, if only to go warm were gorgeous, why nature needs not what thou gorgeous wears, which scarce doth keep thee warm, but for true need, oh, you heavens, give me the patience. Patience I need. You see me here, you gods, a poor old man, as full of grief as age, wretched in both, if it be you who turn these daughters' hearts against their father. Fool me not so much to bear it tamely. Touch me with noble anger, and let not women's weapons water drop stain my man's cheeks. No! You unnatural hags! I'll have such revenges on you both that all the world shall... I will do such things... What they are, I know not. But they shall be... The terrors of the earth! You think I'll weep? No, I'll not weep. I have full cause of weeping. But this heart of mine shall break into a hundred thousand flaws, or ere I'll weep. Oh. Oh! I shall go mad. I think the point at which he becomes...